The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to the G Spot. Welcome to the G Spot. With Precious and Camira. Funny, smart, and fun, whatever. Welcome to the G Spot. With Camira and Precious. So sexy and fresh. Welcome to the G Spot. With everything down the gorge, you sing great breath. Everyone is welcome, but you better stay in your place at the G Spot. Welcome to the G Spot. Welcome to the G Spot. Yeah. Hey. Boy, say we got the hardest intro song ever, fool. Every time I hear that bitch say, I swear I rock out like I'm in the club. Just me. I don't give a fuck. That shit go hard. You know what I'm saying? I know music. I used to be in the studio. Shit, what's up? I'm precious. <laughs> Welcome to the G Spot. I have missed y'all. Have y'all missed me? I miss y'all so much. You know, I've been. Doing nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just out here living life, eating bad, chilling with my fam, you know, shit like that. Um, but I am very happy to be back. Kamira is doing well. We just talked um yesterday. Day for that. You know what I'm saying? My nigga is doing good. Um, I know everybody miss her. I do too. So if you wanna see her, you can come to No Place Like Home Comedy Show in Dallas, Texas on January twelfth at seven PM. She will be hosting that motherfucker. Okay. I do have a very special guest in the building. You know what I'm saying? I had to have a co host because my nigga is not here. So today we do have Clipper Daryl in the building, y'all. Give it up for Clipper Daryl, y'all. What up, guys? What up? Nah, listen now. He sound like he from the damn commentator gang, nigga. This is a podcast. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, no, that's what, oh I'm sorry. I'm nah, sorry. it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> no, thank you for coming. You know what I'm saying? I hit him up, and he didn't hesitate to come join me. And um, as y'all can tell, he is a diehard Clipper fan. <laughs> he always is wearing something that's representing them goddamn Clippers. Now, today he has on the pullover starter. From the early 90s. You know what I'm saying? Back in my day, niggas was getting robbed <laughs> for these hoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, we're going to go and put your head over a starter. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, be careful walking home. You know what I'm saying? I had a Notre Dame when he zipped up the front. He had that little nigga fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you zip it up that front, you had that hoe. And I had a Charlotte Hornet. You know, niggas reminiscing now. But uh, I see you with the French pull over too. You get that hoe from. Nigga, I know you ain't been had it because we can tell the warm <laughs> She. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, the white is white, so I something got, going on. You ordered the bitch, Amazon? I got, I got so much Clipper gear, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I could I could just wear it two or three times. That's it. You, you know how I do it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so what's been going on with you? Tell me something good. Man, life is so good. My team is doing v- fantastic. Fantastic. Well, put so, us up to up to speed. If we not, if we not a Clipper fan, if we ain't watching, mm-hmm. tell us what's going on. These styles, baby, yeah, where we, you been? Yeah, we, girl, 17, we 17 and 7 right now, man. 17 we, we, and 7? 17 and 7, looking good. You know okay. what I'm saying? We about to take over L.A. But, you know. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Well, it's, that's, about, it's, about to be, it's about to be a Clipper town in a minute. Red, white, and blue, baby. Steve Bomber era. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I feel, you know what I'm saying, Cowboys, you know, we still number one in our division. Good <laughs> fuck. You know what I'm saying? Good <laughs> fuck how we doing, you know, if you're just watching the games. <laughs> but, if, you know, technically, you know, in the NFC East, we out here. So, shout out to us, too. You know what I'm saying? You got to rip your <laughs> Even when they be bullshitting, you know what I'm saying? Fuck! But anyway, um, we are happy to have you here. What I'm doing right now, we have a special portion of the show where I pull cards for our people because I love us. Hold up, I should do the animal card last. You know what I'm saying? Let me pull a couple up. 
Oh, wow. You heard that? Yes, that's for Precious' prophecies that we have Wow. on the show. Yes, every I didn't, week. I didn't, I didn't expect all this. Yeah, if you didn't expect it, what shit, <laughs> get ready, goddamn. <laughs> and we don't got time for y'all calling you nothing else. Look, I'm get your look. If you were part of the show right now, you were a part of the tarot and the prophecy. So don't try to run now, nigga. Don't run. <laughs> you hear it now. You hear it. Oh, shit. I'm ready to go home. Wait it's a minute. sorcery oh, shit. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get nervous. No. Somebody call 911. Clipping down needs help. <laughs> shit. Okay, y'all. We're going to see what's going on with y'all for the week. Um, I'm not going to lie. My week been kind of challenging. You know, a lot of shit been going not the right way. And... I just had to sit down yesterday and just relax and go with the flow because you push against it. It's already not going good. But hopefully this will be good for y'all. <laughs> niggas throw their bad energy out. But hopefully for y'all it'll be all right. All right? <laughs> That's how niggas do you. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on. Mm. Okay. Okay. Is that your phone? On, I put it on vibrate. I got the last okay, time okay, I was in okay. here, I didn't, I didn't want the poor this to beat me down. Okay, you know? yeah, because she showed damn wheel and me too. That's what I'm like, who the hell shit is it? Okay, here we go, y'all. We got the seven. A chalice, okay? See, what's going on in this is that you being off of some shit, okay? These are a lot of cups. Seven different ones, matter of fact. Mm-hmm. But it ain't good shit in all of them. So what you need to do is use discernment, okay? Figure out what it is that you really need. Don't just go for the shit that glitter and it ain't gold. You know what I'm saying? Don't be going getting the goddamn cubic zirconia, getting your goddamn shit <laughs> grilled from Eddie, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to get the right shit because otherwise you're going to fuck up. That's how I feel about this one. Then you got the king of chalice. This nigga ain't shit. Look at him. <laughs> that's shit. a nigga. I saw, oh, I hate that nigga. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that's why I say you got to choose wisely because if not, you're going to get a selfish nigga who's sitting there holding all his shit to himself in both hands and he ain't thinking about your ass. Okay? Then you're going to be sitting around looking stupid like, where did I go wrong? Bitch, you know where you went wrong. It was a cup over here that motherfucker was a good choice, but you rolled with this nigga and you knew he wasn't shit. And now you're sitting up here thinking about your life. Oh, I've been traveling down this road too long. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find your way back home, face ass. We don't have time for this. Now, you find you run into a dude who finally is a good dude. He's going to pour out you a couple of blessings and shit. You know what I'm saying? Something like a father figure. <laughs> Yes, he gonna look out for you, baby, because when it rains, the sun always do shine again. So here goes somebody. I ain't saying he the one, but bitch, take a chance, because this the fool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the fool take a chance. You see, they don't have much with them. No bags packed, don't know where they going, basically finna walk off the bridge, but bitch, you could fly. So you know what I'm saying? Take that chance. <laughs> Take that chance with the blessings that's handed over to you so you don't be sitting around looking like Boo Boo the Fool, you know what I'm saying, over that bad choice you made, okay? All right, now let's get everybody an animal card because (laughs) the animal spirit. I mean, that might not have been for you. You know, I was talking to the women, but you can take it either way it go, whichever way it resonates, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. That is not a white man witch, baby, because if you think that this is some, do you go to church? Do you drink the blood and eat the body? Well, that's some shit, too. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So you cannot (laughs) judge this. All right? Here we go. What animal spirit is everybody taking on for the week? Okay? We need to know because we all take on some type of animal spirit. And we all look like some type of animal. (laughs) Look at that. All right. What we got? (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Snake spirit. See some snakes out in that motherfucker. She. <laughs> it is time to heal. You know what the snake spirit really is. Like before I even look at the book, you know what I'm saying? You already know. Like snakes, they ain't about shit. And they be in the grass and shit. But then at some point, the snake got to shed. You know, it shed its skin. And that's when you come back anew. So that's what it's time to do. It's time to heal. You've been hurt, and now you're hurting people. Hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> I sound like a meme. Hurt people, hurt people, though. It is time to shed that skin, start anew, and know that you can manifest what it is you really want. Yes, you don't have to become the world. Make the world become you. Give and show love. That's all it's really about. All right, you get a personal one, Daryl, because it's your first time here. You get a personal animal card. I uh, I, uh, I, I don't care if you don't want one. You get one. (laughs) You don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. It's my show. Oh, it's your show. It's the G Spot with Precious uh, and Camille. Entertainment purposes only. So don't, you know. It's real. Take yourself too soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. (laughs) She. I'm. I. I, 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 The Lord Jesus. Don't start doing that (laughs) shit, y'all. You know what it is. Pippa Durrell, what what, what animal spirit? (laughs) 
Is Mr. Daryl taking wow. the clip dirt? I'm, I'm a tiger. <laughs> I'm a lion. Me Every don't... time they do that, they come out as a butterfly or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Watch me come out as a wolf. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. One card. One Clip card. Dirt. What we got? What we got? What animal spirit? Oh, that's good. Fox. Okay. Think on your feet. Okay. Always. Let me see. Let's see. Let's go to it. Because this is good. See, you think it's just a bull, but watch this. And watch it resonate with you. You're going to be like, you know what? You show right, precious. Boom. Okay. Fox Spirit, think on your feet. Be alert now, for Fox Spirit has appeared, and you are meant to move swiftly. Let this clever spirit draw out your creativity as you adjust to rapidly changing circumstances with resilience, grace, and astuteness. Fox Spirit helps you to think on your feet, using your best judgment and wits to help you slip into a more advantageous situation. Now it's not a time to hesitate, but a time for swift action of the mind, a time to think outside the box and notice the many ways in which you might make a move, aware of your surroundings and always clear on what you deserve and wish to co-create. Trust that your cleverness guided by the Fox spirit will serve you well. You know what I'm saying? Now is your time. You need to think on your feet. Move swiftly. Your ass moving slow as hell. <laughs> for this shit. This nigga here is sliding through like a Spike Lee movie, nigga. <laughs> Waving at niggas. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, that was good. So bro. how was your, uh, you, you jumped right into the, uh, I know the Precious Prophecy, but how was everybody's holiday? Like, we've oh, been yeah. gone for a couple of weeks. Like, well, did yeah. you leave town, do any shows? Yeah, she was. She, she left Darryl, town. Which you been up to? Uh, yeah, I did just jump into it, my bad. Shit. It's all good. With good read. Good I read. forgot the, the Lord of the show. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time. I went home. I went to Dallas, chill with my family, niece and nephews. They make me feel so special. Auntie Precious! Uh, hey, you, hey uh, but let me tell you about Precious, though, Portis. Oh, my God. Man, <laughs> Precious hit me. Uh, she on social media, right? She on she on uh, Instagram store, I mean, Instagram Live, right? She told me to pick her up from the airport, right? When I pick her up from the airport. And she didn't reach out to me, man. And I told her I was going to pick her up, man, and I'm mad but now. She put me lying, on the spot. Fool, people be lying, fool. People be lying. I've never was, heard of anyone being upset that they didn't get to go pick somebody up from LAX. <laughs> LAX is a nightmare. Oh, I know it is. But but you know what, though? Precious is a good friend. I lo- I lo- when, I, when we met, we hit it off real well, and we see each other all the time. And I, I, I love her. I love her comedy. Always supporting her. True. But Thank you. When she told me to come pick her up, and then she didn't call me, it broke my heart. No, he lying, y'all. He, yeah, come on. he is being dramatic right now. No, dramatic, my, nigga. I'm emotionally you know I'm traumatized right now. The thing is, like, at one point, I was really trying to get rides from the airport. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was still stupid me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was actually trying to get rides and shit. And so I was going through shit with people. So I was just venting on my live one day. Like, this is some bullshit. Woo, woo, woo. And he like, oh, I'll come get you. And I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Like, it's good to know that you will. But, you know, I really had worked out a way because I'm just used to not depending on this. <laughs> now, like, nigga, I haven't figured it out, nigga. Like, I got a whole system where I boom, 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 so I don't have to. But I appreciate you, and I thank you for even being willing. Because people will dodge a bitch, nigga. They'll pick know, up the it's phone. hard getting somebody to come pick oh, you up from the airport. Out here, yeah. I just Uber, and now Uber they make is it hard. off-site. Yeah. You got to walk a block. If, you, if you're if you on Southwest, uh-huh. you got to walk a block to this little parking area where all the Uber, all the Lyft, all and the... supposed to stand in some line for two hours. But see, now, this is how I juke the system, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to be smart like me. You know what I'm saying? Boom. When I get back to LAX, I'm not going to do that shit. I'm not catching no bus to get over there to that shit to wait. What I'm doing is jumping right on the shuttle. Take me to whichever hotel right there. Sheraton, whoop de boom. boom. Get to the shuttle, hit the lift. Nigga, no problem. Nigga. <laughs> hey, hey. Woo! That is a she lovely got, yeah. solution. And I'm telling you, fool, like we say, roll with me, fool. I'm telling you. I'm and scouting. you know what? I I was thinking of doing that. That's not a bad idea. I um, just did it. It was great. No problems at all. But I did go to, uh, when I went came back from the Bay, because I went to the Bay for the holiday, um, 
it was easy. It wasn't that crowded. I walked straight to the Uber from Southwest and had a car in like five, ten minutes. So yeah, cause it wasn't was that me. bad. But if you got a lot of luggage and you got a lot of shit, you don't want to lug all that. Right. I'm no a friend. Don't be playing with me, nigga. Nah, but you know what? Nah, because um, when I was on my way last time, this girl was telling me. She didn't want to help me to it. She was like, last time she was there, you had to catch a bus to get over here to the park to, ca- to get the lift shit. Then she had to wait. She like, it took like two hours and yes. more. I'm like, oh, it's, hell yeah. no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? We got to figure this shit out now. Yeah. Nigga. So. Yeah, that's true. Get like me. A hotel mm. shuttle is a good idea. Because mm. mm-hmm. they don't know. They don't know. I don't give a fuck if they do. Nigga, shit. <laughs> <laughs> With my ass, I can stand outside, nigga, and got a lip. Not against the law. She, I done tip this nigga on the shuttle. She, you know, for to live my life now. I'm not finna be playing with these people. She, I done had a long ass trip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bullshit. Bullshit, fool. So, so what's the happen with your trip? You went to the bay? Yeah, I went to the bay, hung out with moms, and I just, I just vegged out. I didn't do nothing. I, I, I worked the first two days I was there, but after that, I just relaxed. So, who you work with? So, I mean, you went to the station. No, I just me. was oh. doing Stuff computer shit. Oh, okay, good. You actually can relax. Poet is relaxing. I, I relax. <laughs> only, you know what? I can only relax when I'm in the bay at home. That's it. That's it. When you, when you even Cali, on the way. I mean, when you're in LA, you can't do it, huh? You can't. I can't. <laughs> even it's on like, the way. Poe will work on the way, nigga. She working on the way, on huh? On the way to the bay, nigga. <laughs> oh, she works in you then. Because <laughs> <laughs> you stay working. I, say, I tried to. I'm bootleg shit. Matter of fact, anybody who was expecting me last night in Nashville, my sincerest apologies, you know. What happened? You tell me we still just figure that out, right? Something with the production shit. I don't know. Somebody forgot about me. <laughs> and I had so many people, like, it really coming for me. It kind of hurt my heart, you know. Mm. But it, the good thing is they tickets are good for a year or so. So a lot of people I know didn't even go. They're going to wait till they can drive down to Dallas. They're going to wait. Oh, <laughs> on January 12th, no place like home. <laughs> 7 o'clock, Texas Theater, no place like home. No, <laughs> No, um, it was, yeah, it was like some, it was some bullshit, but. Okay. What, did you, what did you realize you was funny? Huh? What did you realize you was funny You and you wanted to do this for a living? Oh, that's a good question. Let me see. I realized in college something, you know what I'm saying? But I was, it wasn't comedy. When I realized I was funny. I was the funny person, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But I didn't. I don't know when I realized I was funny. Did, was it a friend that said, go on stage, see, you know. Try it out. Like, this, were you? The thing was, like in college, to, in college, I was, I, I was doing, I was in like that theater arts, and we did like this play, and we all did our own parts. But I thought my shit was more like acting, but I was, the, it was always funny to everybody. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So when I came to Cali after college, you know, I wanted to do acting shit, but it was easy to get on stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, so the first time you got on stage and did your act, how was that experience? That was a that was a great experience the first time. I, you know, it, it it was really good. Like it fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? I really thought I was good. You know, like I had to fall hard to be like, ooh, <laughs> you got work at this shit. <laughs> you go up and then kill someone one time. You think you were going magic? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, no, <laughs> but you got to work. It was at Michael. It was like at at the at the union, I believe. Michael Carr. Oh, so your home. first time performing was here in L.A. Mm-hmm. I didn't even start so in no Dallas. hometown. No. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nope, I didn't even start there. That's that's the that's the thing. Like mm-hmm. it was from college in Arkansas, and I went to Cali, and I moved back home and and back out here. So, wow, yeah. and it's a hard place to uh, to yeah. to break if you don't do it from your home. Exactly, first. so many people doing it out here. Yeah. yeah. So Clipper Daryl, I mean, how long you been a Clipper fan? For and, real. And what? <laughs> Because they didn't always have that great a record, right? So you, they can't call you Fairweather. Okay. Yeah, if you've been uh, down since day one, like 20, how long have you been down with the Clippers? 27 seasons. These niggas would jump teams quick. 27 seasons. 27 seasons. Yeah, I've been a season ticket holder for 20. And who were you Season ticket of, holder for 20. Who were you a fan of prior to Clippers? Nobody. He no, <laughs> a damn lie. Nobody. I used to watch the games <laughs> with my dad. I used to watch the games with my dad. Uh-huh. And that's when the scores used to be like 150 to 160. <laughs> Stuff like that, but I never had a, t- a team. Mm-hmm. And when I chose a team, when I got fired from a job, and the guy told me I never mount anything in life, you know how you get fired, you feel sorry for yourself. Went home, plopped on the couch, Clipper game comes on. They said the same thing about them, how horrible they was, how they never mount anything. I said, This is going to be my team. We're going to ride and die together. 
So you you embraced them because they were the underdog. Exactly. They was losing at the time, and you was too. Oh yeah. How many uh, right. championships has the Clippers won? Are you trying to be funny, Portis? No, I'm, I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably I'm, zero. I'm, then, I'll, you I'll, said that. I'll, that looking ass. Are you being that's funny an honest right question? Now? No. Okay, no. Uh, we, none. We, we have none. Oh wow. Exactly. And, and how long the franchise been out? Now shut up. Clippers. <laughs> Clippers had a pretty good season a couple years ago, though, right? Like, oh, yeah. they were almost there. Yeah, but we're about to get to this shit. This, this I shit, like this. the Clippers. I want to see Post them win stupid. a championship. Post said they was almost there. You know almost don't count, nigga. Almost doesn't count. Face ass. Nigga I can't stand y'all. Almost. Hey, this nigga. is the Steve Bomb era. We got a whole new owner. He won $40 billion. <laughs> well, good <give> fuck. <laughs> Hey, this is our time now, man. June 2020, we're going to hold up that Larry OB. Okay. Nah, that's, that's how you got to have it for your team, you know. Are you a lifetime season ticket yeah. holder? Yeah, I've been I've been there. I've been there since. I've been there for 20 seasons. Only missed two games hey. in 20 seasons. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mr. Walking Digital? What's up? What? So you really So bad. you know yeah. all the players. You, this nigga you know. is connected. Right. <laughs> this nigga know everybody. I'm like, if I see a video with this nigga, this nigga hosts parades in the crowd. Have you, <gasps> have you ever commentated a game? Yeah. I mean, not not a Clipper game, though. Oh, I, mean, okay. I commentate high school game and college games before. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Have you ever thought about getting into that? Since, I mean, That's taking a hard it to job. the next level as a fan? That's a hard job. I mean, I have a radio I have a radio show now. Uh-huh. So you, you I, I do, I do dance, the radio. Right? Yeah, I have some on Dash Radio. And uh, I, what do you mean I have something? But, you know, well, 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 tell us what you nah. have. Plug your shit. shit. No. I mean, I, no, I have a sports entertainment show. So, I, you know, I get a lot, of, a lot of the guys that I know, you know, on the show and stuff like that. So it's a fun show. It's, it's about fandom. But, you know, to answer your question, though, Paul, it's, it, it's one of them situations where do you want to really do that? Because it, it puts me in a box. Mm-hmm. Like, like what, what you do here is like you're free to do what you want to do. You're free to what you want to talk about. True. When 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 you work for somebody, they put you in this box, and you got to do it their way. Yeah, you it's like you can talk about it, but it got to be this way. Exactly. Yeah, you got to kind of filter shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. So I said, you know, do, do I really want to do it? I do it for fun. Like I do a high school tour that I do with the kids and put them on the radio for so they can learn learn the radio situation. Oh, yeah. All free, all sponsored by by different companies and stuff like that. Really? It's free to the school, so that it, it's a fun. It's a fun. I want to help with that. That'll be cool. You want to come out and do that? Uh huh. All right. With the kids. Now you can't cut. Though. I can't. I can do clean. <laughs> I do clean shows, shows too. Shit, you, don't be put me in the box as a uh, see, see, see. Okay, I, I do clean shows. I'm I know gonna, you can do a clean one. I'm, I'm just on a you. reverend and wife <laughs> anniversary. Shit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, that's cool. I think that's good. Yeah. I like that. Um, so that's a, you know those are my rewards. That's why you know I, I get back to the communities. You know, and, and speaking of the parade, yeah, that was my first time being the grand marshal. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. was that was big. That was crazy. And and then they gave me the key to the city. You got a key to the city. I got a key to the city. This nigga got a key to the city. <laughs> yeah. that's all right. They gave me the key to the city. Congratulations. So like, Thank you. So it, it was an honor. I was, and and that was a, the, the key to the city was a total surprise. Uh-huh. So you know tears. You know of course. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, you I got, got emotional and oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> he thought y'all won the championship and shit. That nigga. Uh, he won his own personal uh, championship. For real. Oh, yeah. For uh, real. All right. Well, Clipper Daryl, hang around with us. We got some news we're about to get into and just chime in on some of the topics. I had to make that longer. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm really reading it. The- Topics and shit. Okay, so um, <laughs> I think it was about a week ago, uh, um, Billy D. Williams, veteran actor, we all know Billy D., uh, did <sighs> an interview with Esquire magazine, and um, he talked about, you know, getting in touch with his feminine side. And This nigga! <laughs> I kind of feel that the magazine or the writer put their or people who read the article put their own kind of twist on it by saying he was saying that he was gender fluid. Well, it comes out that since that caused such 
so, since it went viral and caused such an co- uproar, not really an uproar, <laughs> but conversation, uh-huh. you know, because um, really, because what the in fuck the African American, right? I'm sick of these. It's a lot of, you know what? And that's what I'm saying next time on stage. Too. Y'all are some old gender fluid ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Billy D ass niggas, gender fluid. Well, fluid Billy D says that he don't even know what the hell gender fluid meant, means. He said he was just trying to speak on. He's a man that is in touch with his feminine side. Like, um, but ain't that in touch with your feminine side? That's like being a um, what's the shit? You know where you, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Metro. No, I think that uh, I think he was going on the theory of Carl Jung, which is all of us have a male and female energy, and so he's saying he's in touch with both energies he's in touch with his feminine side but he is by no stretch of the ma- imagination gay and he identifies as a man so oh, he, he said he, he he said that he's he came out and clarified it because he was like what is all this going on about my interview in the magazine i don't even know what gender fluid was they, they the put media that put that label okay on it. so he said Okay, because we do. He both. didn't say I'm gender fluid. He, he did I'm not say that. Fluid. Okay, well then let me take that back. Then. No, he didn't say he was gender <laughs> if you didn't fluid say it because I was like people, they put too many labels. People put it on that because that's how they took him saying I that I'm in touch with my feminine side. Yeah, because that's how I took it. Like, wait a minute, Billy. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to wait till now talking about some I'm gender fluid. No, he said he don't even know what that shit yeah, means. Yeah, but he said he not gay. I was thinking to myself, like, how in the hell does he even know what that means? He's like 82 years old. At 82, you I, fluid? I don't even know nigga, what that means. Nigga, you ain't means. fluid. You dried up, nigga, at 82. <laughs> but I don't think anyone, I had never heard that term until that story came out. So I, had you heard of gender fluid? Uh, nah, never. Gender fluid. <laughs> I, I'm just glad. I'm glad he just verified it because Billy D was every woman's dream guy. Oh, baby. that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Was like he's like the man, uh, a strong black man figure in mm. the black community. So okay. for that news to come out, people were like, "No, not, not Billy." Billy. But, not, exactly. It did sound like. I mean, even if you don't know, using your context clues, you're like, "Oh, no." Here we he go. said, "Let me make it clear. I'm not gay. So he's not I gay. identify as a man. He don't even know what gender fluid meant. That they put that on." You know, well, they, they took that away quick. from his exactly with his comment and what. You see so. a picture of him with that makeup on there and that ponytail sitting back. You would think you gender fluid. Some you know what I'm saying? Making memes Excuse with makeup. Me. You know, oh, they already yeah. made the memes with yeah. that. Now nah, they put a little makeup on these niggas before they yeah. hit that. <laughs> you know damn well they put some makeup on these niggas. You know what I'm saying? The powder these niggas face. Some of these niggas be looking a little cake face. You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> leave me shining, nigga, before you put me up there with the cake face. <laughs> niggas up there with the cask. I know you got to have a good makeup artist for black people on TV. I mean, I've seen yeah. some... They will ruin you with their I've makeup. I've seen some nigga. bad jobs. Nigga. Horrible jobs. Yeah, where the who got that? Ooh, a nigga makeup line to kill it out here. <laughs> Tell me come out with a nigga makeup. Ooh, Rihanna. 50 for men. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> on these house. That would kill. Cause they tripping. But, um... Yeah, so... Um, so he's not gay. That's good to know. Exactly. Billy is not gay. He's just in touch with his feminine and masculine side. Right. But maybe a little more feminine. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. This is my guess. We're gonna just... <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's fluid. I mean, whatever. I mm, mean, he's cool. 82 at this it point. It don't matter. I mean, Ain't like nobody you're like, I'm fucking him right now. I can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, what am I do? Okay, so the next that was your is, wait a minute, that was your phone. That was the computer. <laughs> what, no, that was your phone, <laughs> poetess. That was the computer, <laughs> poetess. Come on, poetess. Poetess been serving Not myself. <laughs> she writing this motherfucker. Her phone can be out. Look, god damn it, shit. Okay, so um, Oprah's catching a little heat Oprah. because. She is now putting out a documentary on uh, Russell Simmons' uh, rape accuser. Oh, yeah. Oprah is doing that, that, that Russell Simmons rape accuser thing. Yeah, and you know what? I had already just forgave Oprah for the bullshit she pulled with Michael. You know what I'm saying? Don't be interviewing niggas about and that Kelly. shit after he dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't really tripping off R. Kelly, but nigga, you and Michael was cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that, that ain't really cool. If I die and we was cool, nigga, don't be doing interviews with niggas who talking bad about me, fool. Like, for real. It's not okay. Fuck yeah. them niggas. You know what I'm saying? 
So I had just barely got over that hump with this bitch. Now here she come back talking about some uh, Russell accusers and doing this. Bitch, stick with us. Bitch, we rooting for everybody black. Fuck is you doing? You yeah, know what I'm saying? You know what? I, I had a conversation with know. Sheena about it this morning because I, I, I took some issue with that. It's like, mm. um, why is she just targeting, you know, Us. black folks on this issue? And Sheena brought up a, a valid point that, you know, Oprah was also sexually abused uh Oh, as a kid. In her Wasn't life. She? Yeah, I remember. And that this is specifically for black women, that a lot of people don't care about black girls being abused. And these are men who are victimizing young black girls. So mm-hmm. if you look at it from that standpoint, it, it has some validity. But at the same time, I think she can do other topics that bring awareness to yes. uh yeah. Black women being uh, yeah. physically abused. And I don't, that girl I don't black. know she that. Look black I don't know bitch. that it's <laughs> the right girl black. for her to point out. And then I don't. And Michael know Shaw that, fucking no girl. I don't. Russell Simmons was not <laughs> prosecuted for anything, but I'm not. I'm. I'm leaning toward that. This woman, Drew Dixon, who's the who's doing the documentary, who the documentary is actually about, mm-hmm. claims that uh, Russell Simmons uh, raped her. Uh, I'm not doubting that because, you know, I've heard these things about him in the industry. So I don't know. It's it's really a touchy it's subject. A Very it touchy. Is, it is. Um, Very touchy. And plus, I think Oprah was friends with uh, Russell Simmons for a while. All of them. I mean, they they in the billionaire club. Come on now. Yeah, I'm gonna be friends with them too. So I ain't got time to be backstabbing that bitch. Say, you know, all in the billionaire club and shit. These bitch trying to play. <laughs> I don't want to have to drive Oprah. We old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the uh, <laughs> the upcoming documentary is acquired by Apple TV, and they say that Oprah is a producer of the film, um, which is focused on. Uh, music executive Drew Dixon, who has accused Simmons of raping her in his Manhattan apartment in 1995. And then since she's come out, uh, several other women have come out to say that they've had the same issue with uh, music mogul uh, Russell Simmons. Wow. Well, wow. Um, I can't I ain't, I can't comment on that. I ain't had no type of experience with him. Damn. <laughs> Not even they trying to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You know what I'm <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to get me shit. I want a story, nigga. Like, you know, I did do the comedy show there with Russell. And it, you know. Nah, I got nothing. Nigga, nigga was cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? I only did was tell a nigga I know what I like her. She's funny. You well, know what Sheena, Sheena used bullshit. to work for Russell Simmons, and she she's... It's hard for her to believe because he was so cool with her. Yeah, and some people, everybody have different experiences with people, you know, yeah. or whatever. But my thing is, I ain't gunning for none of my people. Not if I fuck with you. Now, if I don't fuck with you, fuck you. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah. so this is a sort of an odd story to me. R. Kelly, we know, is in enough trouble as it is. But they just bought a new charge on R. Kelly for bribing authorities to uh, give Aaliyah a fake ID so that they can get married. I'm like, how can you still charge him for that? Like, is there because some of, type because of... she was a child? She was a child, so, so there's no it, statutes it, 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 so, of limitation. There's no statutes of limitation on that. Oh, really? Yeah, when you're a child. Yeah. Because yeah, I was wondering how they dig back and, yeah. and, and really just charged. now. That's the same thing. Hey, that's the same thing. I questioned, so I had to go. I had to call my 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 my, uh, my attorney guys and ask them about it. They was uh-huh. like, hey, there ain't no statutes when it comes to children. Well, that's good. I yeah. mean, what is good ain't no statues, but they we we look now. If you sit here and think about it, this shit was crazy as hell, and everybody knew what the fuck going on. These niggas dressing alike in videos back back and forth, and we just sitting here jamming and shit. Y'all knew that shit. Yeah, they knew that shit, and now they they just waited. And see, that shit goes to show. Don't thank you above a lot. They'll sit back and let your ass live for twenty years, right? And come back on your motherfucking right. ass. They will Bill Cosby, right. R. Kelly. Nigga. Some shit, man, you are absolutely true about that. So, hmm. um, 20 are, years. Hmm. He, did they, uh, no, he hasn't gone to trial yet, has he? No, not yet. Yeah, because he's still in, uh, okay, so Uber, all of us, or I know I take Uber, 
uh, or Lyft, um, they just came out with a report that uh, 3,045 assaults reported during rides that took place in Uber in 2018 and nine actual deaths, murders. So, but the thing is, Uber has a billion over like what 16 billion rides a year and then out of that billion rides or miles um that number of incidents have happened but it's not only the passenger but people are assaulting drivers as well <clears throat> so that's crazy right? it's crazy as hell because i was trying to figure out how and you know what i'm saying mama was saying some shit about like the people be falling asleep and they wake up and just getting felt on and shit now <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> Now, where did we make a left or exit for you to get that comfortable with me nodding off on the way to our little journey? You know what I'm saying? And then you wake up, nigga, just up your skirt. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, that's not funny, y'all. This is very serious. But the thing is, I ain't falling asleep with no stranger. You know what I'm saying? And I get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not falling asleep with a stranger. But what about when you're drunk, though? I don't give a fuck about being drunk. That's when I'm very aware and very stupid and loud and ridiculous. A lot, a lot of women are not, though. Shit. Well, then you did say, that's dumb to be by yourself drunk. Yeah. Because I uh, drive myself drunk. There's a lot of, um, <laughs> and then you could see your driver. Hang on, kill me, nigga. You can see your driver, I guess, in the app. Plus, um, yes. they've put a 911 inside the app if there's an emergency. So they're trying to do things. They're doing stepping up their screening methods and all of that to try to make those numbers down. But um, they also have I forget the name of it, but they have a ride share that's just women drivers. Oh, really? I need for to, women. Well, I, I I always do the ride share just because it's cheaper. There ain't no women drivers. But last time it was I three of us in that motherfucker. Re- and I, got I wonder if you could just request a female driver. You might be able to. Do oh, that. you can cancel it till you get to one. You know, because yeah. they show you the little dudes on there. And you know what? But I don't know. It's still tricky, y'all. Because one time I got this dude and he was cool as hell. But why is every light on in this motherfucking car? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I am nervous, nigga. I'm trying to make it to the airport, <laughs> nigga, to check engine, the goddamn this light, nigga. I am nervous. This nigga trying to talk, make casual conversation, nigga. <laughs> Are we going to make it? Yeah, I don't like <laughs> I just keep quiet. You can put on, you can even put in the app that you don't even want to talk to the driver. Nigga, I kind of want to talk about this. What the fuck happened? What car is this? This ain't the one from the picture. Shit. But I, I, but I think that what they should do though, they should require all the drivers to have a recording instrument where you record the actual drive. Oh, so, like the police or something. Exactly, you know? because that now you're gonna feel comfortable. Now when you sit inside the car, it's you okay. put your daughter in the car, you put your your sons. You know, now nobody can say whatever it is because you can actually see it, and then let them show it on the app. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everything safe, everything you you can have it. I think if they did that. That would be good. Like yeah. the ring. You know how they had a ring. Exactly. My friend Same got way. that ring. You get close, you know, in her vicinity, bitch, it go off on her phone. She can see you outside, nigga, mm-hmm. all that shit. And it really helped too. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. They need that in them cars. If you had Lyft or Uber, nigga, yeah. Cause you got me fucked up. You know yeah, I mean? because you can't, because you, you know, they do the police backgrounds, but how deep do they go? Not deep. Because you know. I made it. They can have a clean <laughs> record. <laughs> they can have a clean record and still uh, do their first offense. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you just never know. <laughs> it's like you just got to be extra careful. Yep. Um, a Georgia official takes oath of office using Malcolm X's autobiography instead of the Bible. I feel that. Shit. <laughs> and, and more power to the people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> By any means necessary. Shit. If a damn. A go Georgia ahead. County official has taken her oath of office by placing her, her hand on the autobiography of Malcolm X instead of on the Bible, as is uh, most, you know, common. Everybody mm. uses the Bible to, to swear in. Uh, Mariah Parker. A 26-year-old doctorate student who was elected to athens Clark County um, Commission said that she um, turned down two other options, one being the Bible and one being the Constitution. Okay. And uh, she had her autobiography of Malcolm X. She wanted to put that on there, uh, put her <laughs> hand on that and, and take oath of office. And listen to it, her. 
Just such a just such a powerful, you know what I'm saying? Woman on these hoes. Like, man, keep your Bible and keep this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me and Malcolm gonna ride this on out. You know what I'm saying? She says she respects <laughs> his uh respects his uh life transformation, uh his voice uh for justice of the people, and that's what she wants to base her oath on. That's real. I, I respect it. Uh, three uh, women were arrested for running a um, fight club inside of an old folks home. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Hustle. Hustle mania. Okay. Wait a minute now. Wait. <laughs> okay. This is a great hustle. Now, wait a minute. They got a fight club inside here. Like, you know, you fight the dogs. They got the old people. Like, okay, we're going to put Earlene up against Gertrude. Okay. <laughs> Tonight, straight up, straight up. We're going to feed them good, okay? Give them both half a steak. <laughs> These bitches, they hate each other anyway. You know they both fucking Mr. Bill. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, for real. Oh, my no. God. <laughs> no, what happened for real? What happened? This is funny. What happened? Okay, so you know they were, I hate to say it, they were black. They were black. I hate to say it. Wow. I hate to admit it. It was us. Three Guilty. North Carolina <laughs> caretakers. <laughs> were arrested and charged with assaulting an individual with a disability after they were found running an elderly fight club between their patients with dementia. So these patients were like in their 70s. Hey, my mom about to be 70. <laughs> these patients in their 70s with so dementia. They, had, uh, they videotaped two patients, 70 and 73, uh, respectively uh, fighting while uh, employees engaged and encouraged them to punch each other in the face. Get her! Get her! Get her, <laughs> exactly. Elaine! Come on, Gertrude! Wow. You go, got Gertrude, her. you go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they over there with pom-poms and shit. You get some pudding, you gonna get some pudding if you win. That's crazy. That's fucked up. But how would, you, uh, but how would you feel, though? How would you feel if that was your mama, mama fighting? Right, yeah, I wouldn't. That's... That That would not be cool. I'm going to go drop whoever they're a fool. Whichever employee is there, you got to get it, fool, for playing. That's not okay. No, nah, that ain't cool at all. But, dog, uh, it's funny as fuck. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's not okay, but it's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they got them old women out there squatting. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, you know, no one was injured or hurt. Did you Did you see any of the videos, Poetis? I, I didn't see any video. Oh, of man. Did you see it? No, I, hey, I would love to see one. I would just love to see. see a clip. I just want to see a little clip. Oh, my God. That is, that man, boy, people don't give a damn. So they, okay, they, they ran the fight club. Were they, were they making any money? Yeah, like what was going on here? Because the people don't remember if they got dementia. They probably didn't remember they fought. Just had bruises <laughs> and shit. Like, what happened? You failed, Miss yeah. It Ernie. doesn't say uh, whether they were making money on it, but I'm sure. Why would you do it? It's just for entertainment because y'all bored? I don't know. Well, what you saying? Everybody come through the old folks on tonight. We got a fight going on. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. $5. Five to get in. Nigga, what you doing? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't say. It says a video obtained by police show that three women egging on fights between their patients. How crazy. How crazy you have to be to do that. They like, you know what? I'm sleepy. We got to do something to stay up. Now, what you want to do? Make these hoes fight. That's crazy. Start, I'm telling you, that will keep us up. If these hoes start fighting right now, they old. Who that bitch got some hands? That'll be that old. She's 73. She worked that bitch out. That'll be, that's some good entertainment. I can't lie. If Man. I was working there. Okay, so I know this going to get people on fire, but uh, George Zimmerman is back in the news. This motherfucker is trying to sue Trayvon Martin's family and the prosecution for $100 million. For what? See, they should have shot this nigga in the face in a way, folks. <laughs> he should have been dead. And I ain't not going record saying that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give a fuck. You should have been gone, my J. Fuck you still doing her with all the disrespectful ass shit you done done. And you got the nerve to try to sue a hundred million. Bitch, you know we ain't got one million. Fuck out of here. You being funny, okay? You being funny. People have been posting his address where he lives. Get that fool. On Facebook. <laughs> Oh, wow. His exact yeah. address. But um, anyway, uh, he is suing for civil damages for defamation, abuse of civil process, and conspiracy. The suit alleges that uh, the prosecution's key witness in Zimmerman's 2013 murder trial was an imposter uh, coached by the family and their lawyers. 
The lead mm-hmm. defendant in the suit uh, is Sabrina Fulton, Martin's mother. This, this asshole. Since the shooting incident and the trial, Fulton has gone on to gain the notoriety as an advocate for social social du- justice and reducing gun violence in the wake of her son's death. Wow. It's so sad for him. You could even be allowed to do that. I mean, I, I would just leave it alone. I mean, I don't know why Zimmerman is even trying to bring this back He's up. He's being funny, folks. You're being funny. He's broke. He yeah. probably, nobody can't get a job anywhere. He's been fired for harassing people. He's an asshole. And you ain't finna get shit. Yeah, but anyway, moving on to uh, our favorite segment of the show. That's horrible. Okay. Pull this, man. Where should we get this music from? (laughs) Okay, when you hear that music, Mm. I mean, it's time for... Well, you know, every week people send us in letters and we give our expertise advice. You know what I'm saying? Because we are very well versed on everything that's going on in life (laughs) because of all that we've been through. So people ask us questions, we reply, and, you know, then they go on and live their life. So here we go. This week, mm, hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a 32-year-old black man, and I was dating a woman for about six months. Shortly after we broke up, she called me and told me she was pregnant. I asked her if the baby was mine, and she said she wasn't sure and that it probably wasn't mine. So I didn't really think much of it after that. Two years has passed, and I ran into her and her baby girl about a week ago at the grocery store. The baby looks just like me. She was born approximately nine months after we, after the last time we were together, and she might really be mine. The mother is now married to a guy who isn't the biological father. I would like to know for my own peace of mind. And if I am the father, I want to be a part of my daughter's life. Should I find out if I am indeed the father or would it be best if I just leave it be? I don't want to cause any problems, especially now that she's married. What do you ladies suggest? Am I the father? Hello, David J. Ooh, David. Now, look, David. Go on, go on, Maury. Maury! 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you know what? You know you need to find out, nigga. But you you waiting for me to tell you to be a typical nigga and just go on with your life so you can go on with your life. But you seen that little girl look just like your motherfucking ass? You know it was the, the time add up. And she told you you probably was it, but there is a chance, nigga. <laughs> so you need to get the test done. If you really want a peace of mind, get the test done so you will know. If it's not cool, go on with your life. If it is, send a check, nigga. Play daddy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you want to do. But the point is, you don't just go on. Like, if you saw it, you know how sometimes you can look at kids and be like, I don't see this shit at all. And some of you be like, yeah, that's us, nigga. That's our family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Can't deny that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look just like it. Right? Like, that's us. That's, yeah. that's, that's our family. So, you know, get the shit done. Don't be no, don't be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. What you think? What well, honestly, he has to go check. I mean, because you're not going to interfere with the marriage because she, he already know the baby's not his. Do you think that that that, that because I mean, she said it's probably not his. So what if she did roll with one of them? Niggas? No, but but the the guy she married knows he's not the biological daddy. So how he's do like, we know? He don't say that. Yes, that's what, it does. That, that's what it said. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's how he knows. So it, you ain't breaking up the marriage. So uh, what she did in her past. Now it, he might break up because that means he might look at her and say, "Dang, you sleep with two or three guys. And you don't even know who your baby daddy is." So it could, you know, so I don't know how she's going to feel about it, but she can do it off to the side where he can go yeah. and, you know, all you, all you need is a strand of her swab hair now. Or a swab. Or yeah, a swab, yeah. yeah you can do it a hair and a swab now. And it's very inexpensive now. It's not, it's not expensive as it used to well, be. Why have you had it done, nigga? Not Wait, no. you know, you know you too much about it. I mean, it's very easy now. <laughs> you know, you want to do it, just go take a drink of water and you get the result. <laughs> nigga, like, what? I mean, I know people that got it done. Yeah. I know people that... I'm close he knows to a lot I'm of affiliated. NBA players. Yeah, say, say. <laughs> hey, 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 up for some don't, niggas. Don't, don't be included, I'm, my <laughs> guy. <laughs> I picked up the test for a few niggas, but I ain't. This nigga. Hey. <laughs> no, but uh, what you think, Paul? I agree. I think you should uh, approach the wife and um, just ask her again about the baby and say that you would like to 
take a DNA test and figure out what you're going to do if you are the father. But I mean, go in very humble. Like, I mean, I ain't trying to be the daddy or no shit like that. <laughs> I ain't but, trying to mess but up when I marriage. saw that kid, I was like, now, nah, goddamn, now, am I tripping? Am I high? Or do this baby look like me? My bad, <laughs> shit. So, um, get it done for your own peace of mind. You don't want to be the dead, be that nigga, because that karma going to be heavy. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole kid out here, you ain't doing shit. Right. Hey, I remember a time, though, man, to Texas, the Texas people called me and said I had, I had owed some child support, right? They found me. You know, they found, they found you was on the run. And I told the him, truth. I said, I told him all my kids, I said, all my kids are accounted for. Right. So they went there, they searched, they ran my name and ran, ran, ran certain things. They said, oh, it was the wrong Daryl Bailey. How many kids you got? Four. <laughs> and they said, all my kids are accounted for. Like, <laughs> all all of them, my kids is good. Nigga. Yeah. Are all your kids adults? Yeah, no, uh, except one. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. I got one two year old. No, I got, no, I, he's 16. <laughs> Face saying, these niggas be old, boy. 28 year old, and yeah, then a two year old. I, like, I, got, I got a 29, a 29, a 23. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he didn't say twins. This nigga <laughs> said 29 <laughs> and 29. Niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. And he gonna keep going. He and probably, I'm 16. I, no. I, when you I, know, when I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, don't kill me for saying this, where they, uh, Clipper groupies? Uh, oh no, nah. <laughs> nah. I would even Clipper Daryl. You probably, back you probably got groupies just by being Clipper Daryl. <laughs> you know what though? I don't pay attention to those though. Oh, okay. I, I really don't because if you watch them, it turned me off in 2006. I'm gonna tell you why. In 2006, in 2006, the the owner of the team put me on the team plane and I rode down to Phoenix, man, for the playoff game. Right. Okay. First time, man, as a fan, man, this was like a fantastic experience. We get to the Ritz Carlton. 200 women is inside the hotel. It's only 15 players, <laughs> but it's 200 girls in Damn. there. Damn. Now I, I, they I getting like, more ass than rappers, huh? Exactly. That's so then, how I wanted to be when then, I touched Then when you see them, then when you see them, like they rotating, you know, three go up, <laughs> three come down, oh two more go goodness. up. I'm like, dang, this is crazy. Did you concert. indulge at that time? Nah. Nah. He lied like a bitch. That nah. nigga know everything else. Three, three, this, no, I, I, I mean, I'm three looking. came to my room. Oh, oh, I was no, like, no, oh, not shit. Me. No, no, not at all. I was just refereeing. No, 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 no. No. But, you know, I mean, when you, I mean, I just can't, you know, I don't know, man. It's no morals no more like it used yeah, to be. Man, yeah, You know? It never was. <laughs> so do you think the groupie game has changed the since back when you was fans 26 seasons Oh, yeah, seasons because ago? now they could DM them. Now, now they can do the DM. They can just go straight to them now. That they don't have to wait in the hotel uh, do no they, more. Do they go? Do they check their DM like that? Of course. Everybody checks their DM. I'm don't let to, nobody fool you that they'll check their DM. Come on. Everybody check their DM. <laughs> okay. People say, oh, I don't pay attention to that. Nah. They, everybody everybody pays check their DM. Everybody check their DM. Even if you just pull down the top of that bitch, like what that nigga say? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you, but, but you know what? You got to have a catchy three lines to make. But the craziest I'm thing is. open it up. But the no, they, be, they they send like pictures. Oh my god! They addresses, oh, phone that. numbers, all that. I'm like, wow, this is crazy, man. If my daughter did that, man, I'd break her neck. Wanna find oh. me, baby? Pull up at the Ritz <laughs> Carlton. Uh, I'm just vibing at the Ritz <laughs> Carlton. Hey, no, that yeah. sounds like a nice life. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Just, I, and you know, you're right. A lot of them get with these <sighs> Instagram models. Hey, but let, I'm gonna tell you this story though from a player. This is a true true story. Dude was in dude was in the, in the room, uh -huh. you know, banged the girl out. Okay. Had had the condom on and everything, right? Mm -hmm. He finished, mm -hmm. threw the condom in the trash can, and went to the bathroom, right? Hey, my condom was gone. Can't hey, he came back, legs cocked open. She trying to put the and, shit and in. She up. Putting the, she putting yeah, the, she trying to get pregnant. She put exactly. I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. They are trying to catch you niggas up. And y'all yeah. dumb as fuck. Niggas be smart as fucking everything else. Nigga can have three businesses. Mm -hmm. Nigga can be a great athlete. And it'll be one raggedy ass pussy take you down. Stupid dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you really got to be able to catch shit like that. And niggas ain't catching it, fool. It was, it was an NBA guy. He uh His child support was 18000 18, a month. So he went back. he went back to the courts and said, you know what? I don't believe, you know, she's married now. I don't believe she does, she needs 18000 a month. So I continue to pay it. But can you put the 10000 in a trust fund for my daughter? And that's what they did. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so he, he didn't take the, you know, they wouldn't go exchange money because you're still making the money. But, you know, they did the 10000 in the trust fund. So it's been, it's been you crazy. You know these bitches trying to get you, dog. Yeah. 
You got to take your condom with you. God damn, she done spread them and she pushed yeah, it in she, down in her. Like, come on. When he told please. me that, man, I was I was dying laughing. Man, I was in tears because it was it was so funny. I was like, Are you serious? It's real. I believe it. And yo, but people don't realize once semen hits air, though, it it deadens it anyway. Nah, there's I've seen a story where women have done that. Like it, it probably didn't even hit the air. It's still in the condom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Women yeah, have true. done that. There has been women who have impregnated themselves like that. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I I've heard they they, they did the uh, now women. now should he? I know by law he's gonna still be responsible whether she did it that way or not. Oh no, he caught he caught he caught her though. Yeah. He caught he caught her in time, so she didn't get yeah. No, but say she did get pregnant, mm-hmm. he would still be responsible for. Oh yeah, all of them. Yeah, all of them got him like that. You know, most, most of them because people don't even remember, especially if you, it, it was a drug like night. rape. Almost, I don't know. That's kind of I don't know, but no, it ain't right, nigga. You got counseling. <laughs> don't get yeah, counseling. You did, you did get counseling. Right. He should have took that, that damn condom and yeah, flushed, flushed it. it. Yeah. yeah. But it, but but there's there, there's some women out there know how to bite the condom right where it leaks, yeah. They when they, 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 they giving them yeah they give you oral uh-huh. and then they bite it right oh, and then they jump on top it. of you huh. and then yeah they I mean that, that's what they want. I would I, if I was an athlete I would be so leery of every. One you say that, but nigga, you see a million motherfucking flawless bitches, nigga, you ain't gonna be leery. You're gonna be <laughs> raw dog in the fuck at them hoes. But that's like, why, when you, ah. if, if you ever notice, when they get married, they always go back to their college sweetheart or their high school sweetheart. They never marry nobody new. Yeah, that's true. They always go back to the, you know what they, what they already know. And, you the will, they, they, and that's the problem with you bullshit ass motherfuckers. <laughs> you will go back to that shit that you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but every bitch you fucking is these motherfucking blow up dogs and shit. <laughs> Piece of shit ass motherfuckers. I be so sick of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got the puffy lips and the cheese. What type of what type of man you looking like. for? What type of man would you want? I don't, I don't be telling niggas because then they're going to try to be that and then they ain't going to do right. You know what I'm saying? Some people ask me. I don't be saying that shit. But you got to be a cool ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to be cool. You got to make me laugh. You know what I'm saying? But not like you got to be professional. But I need to have fun. <laughs> shit. I don't know. Shit. Make me laugh, nigga. These niggas. Trash. Trash! So Clipper Daryl wins the next Clipper game. Uh, tonight. Oh, okay. What? Tonight. It's, they on the road. They in Indiana. Oh, okay, okay. Do you yeah. ever go off to any of the... I know you said away you games? flew with them uh, yeah. away. But I, 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 used to, I used to go, but I try to do my other businesses and, you know, try to c- carry everything else. That's just expensive well, yeah. shit. I mean, nah, because, you know, I, 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 got, a, uh, I got a sponsorship with, uh, a, with one of the airlines, so... Oh, okay. So, I can, yeah, I can... I can go wherever I want to go. All right, Clippers, oh, so. mad at you, the ultimate <laughs> fan right there. Yeah. No, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. I need a goddamn hook up like that. <laughs> Hashtag no standby. You know what I'm saying? See <laughs> it on the home. That would be nice. Yeah, when I go out the country, all I got to do is pay for the taxes. What? Yeah. Mm, that's the only thing they, they require. Uh, okay. Well, I'm paying about five already. ten dollars. <laughs> Face head. Uh, yeah, um, my brothers are in the chat room. Uh, Dia says, tell Precious I said hi. Hey, brother. How are you? When you coming back? Gee. Hey. Hey, hey yeah, would we, you let Precious date one of your brothers? Uh, all my brothers married. are married. <laughs> all my brothers are pretty much married. If they were. <laughs> <laughs> what if they wasn't, though? Can, can, can I was trying to hook up Precious uh-huh. with, my, with my best friend. He's uh-huh. a good dude. And he, he, you know, he likes her, too. Oh, look, he's Fellas. looking now. He even did a the art. He even was, did a if painting. Your brothers were married, bitch. Could I date? You know, you know the one. She, <laughs> <laughs> you know the one. I got to be playing now. Hey, lucky. Hey, brothers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know the one. Would you? Would you, you be know bad I'll though? Be with him, girl. You know I'll be. Would with you be? Him. Would you be? I mean, as a, as a woman, can one of your friends? I feel date like one of your they. I feel like they grown. What can I do? Shit. You you if you my boy. You date one of my sisters. It's on. I don't care how old we are. <laughs> oh, nah, you gotta. You what, if, what if he's That's a disrespectful. what if he's a good guy? It don't matter. What if he's willing to marry her and give buy her a home and just take good care of her? How could you yeah. hate on that? Because baby, I'm telling y'all what time. Baby, if Pope brother was not married, baby, shit, that one 
That's my type. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you God, be now you got his head <laughs> all blown <laughs> up. Oh, my God. You be, you be stalking? You be stalking? I don't be stalking, but you know. You know, you know. You're like, like, I do like thick dudes. You know what I'm saying? Thick. Get oh, some weight boy. on you and shit. Oh. He forgets his nice wife smile. watches the show, too. That's so <laughs> silly, my brother. Well, it's a couple of them. We don't know which one, right? In a minute, shit. <laughs> Point is, if, you know, y'all. We ain't, I ain't fucking it's nobody husband. Right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, right now. It's hypothetical. I ain't fucking nobody who is right now. You know what I'm saying? No. Uh, <laughs> no, for real. Thank y'all for tuning into the G Spot. We got, um, I don't know what I got coming up, but I know I'm going home. And Yeah, don't forget January 10th. Right? January 12th. 12th. Yeah. Texas Dallas. Theater. Um, get your tickets. They uh, The link is in my bio on Instagram. Or you get your tickets at the door, but it's my first time coming home in a long time, so I'm really excited. Now, you're actually producing the show, too, right? Yeah, self-produced, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so I'm excited. It's my first time doing that as well, so it's stressful. <laughs> you got other comics coming on with you? Um, yeah, I okay. have Kamira hosting, my co-host, and I have Teddy Ray and Black Ron. Hilarious lineup, actually, so... Come out. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be like a big community reunion in this bitch. Oak Cliff reunion. All the schools, all the shit. Even white dude from my mama YMCA class done got tickets. I'm like, God damn, here we go. Yeah, this shit. He's going to be like, what have I walked into? Nigga, I'm so nigga shit. But it's going to be fun. No, you're funny week. as hell, though. Thank you. you definitely funny as hell. Thank I love your show every time. Oh, that's so sweet. Nah. I didn't pay him to say that job. I didn't pay him. Actually, she did, but I... <laughs> Now she's funny as hell though, but y'all gotta go check her out. I'm serious. Thank you. So, um, what yeah. you got up, Po? Um, shit, just getting ready for 2020. We have a workshop coming up this uh Saturday. If you're interested in our podcasting for beginners class, it is this Saturday, ten AM. Go to our website at morrismediastudios.com to sign up. We're giving away free studio time what? to anybody who signs up. Because this is our last class of the year. What? So y'all better sign up. Nobody get no oh, so if I sign up, if I sign up right now, I get a free, I get free studio. You get free half hour to do your own podcast. Well, free, you can free, talk about the clip for thirty minutes. For thirty, for 30 minutes. minutes. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I'm signing it up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> more media. Where you at? <laughs> Even if you have a, a podcast, you can still come because we teach you how to market it and mm-hmm. just. Uh, and make money doing it. And that know? matters, you know, like just just doing a podcast and saying you're doing one, you need to know how to format it and set it up. You see how she got me right at the beginning. Like you yeah, just look, skipped look, over look. this part. We have a format. Exactly. It's you a format to this. Yeah, this is just not. Yeah, a lot of people think um, even before podcasting when I was in radio, a traditional radio, people think it's as easy as sitting down at the mic and talking. Like we used to do this segment when I was at 92.3 The Beat where we would have celebrities Show come off. in. <laughs> yeah, you know, let me drop that. Uh, wow. Where we would have uh, celebrities come in and do the, the day part, do the air shift. Okay. They would get there and would not know what, the hell to do you would have notes in front of them everything and they would freeze because they Mm. think that you just get up there and just start talking like okay what are we going to talk about like they don't know how to intro the records so it's really there's really uh you know a method to the madness of of doing podcast hosting any of hosting anything is a production whether it's a a podcast or tv show or radio show it takes preparation and um or you're not gonna it's not gonna last so but anyway we teach all that it's a really good class i'm happy that people leave happy and knowing a lot more about podcasting so you can go to our website again at morrismediastudios.com and you guys have a good week and um we'll catch you back here next monday g spot on the out (laughs) hey Welcome to the G Spot. Welcome to the G Spot. With precious and Camira. Funny, smarty, but whatever. Welcome to the G Spot. With Camira and precious.